Hi, I'm Ann Poole. Welcome to Creating a Search Box. This is the fourth in my series of videos that will show you how to use Library Thing widgets to add useful features to your website. I use Blogger for my church library's website and in this example, but the widget will work on other websites as well. One of the more recent widgets that Library Thing has started offering is a search box. It seems to search on title, author, and at least some parts of the book descriptions, as well as on tags. It works pretty much like Google, just one box and a button. First, we're going to make the widget itself. Go to Library Thing and click the More tab at the top of the page, and then the Widgets and Extensions link on the left. Once you're on the page, click the Library Thing Search Widget link. Here's the page where you make the widget. The only two things you may want to change are the title, you could either leave it blank or add a more meaningful title, and the book links. If you change it to link to book page, it will go to a page with information about the specific copy in your library. Link to work page, the default, goes to a page with information about the book in general. Leave everything else alone unless you're feeling adventurous and want to play with customizing the style. Click Rebuild this widget after making all the changes and make sure that the search box looks good. You're going to need everything that's in the widget HTML box at the bottom of the page. Just copy it all into Notepad for now. Now you'll add the search box to your website. First, log into Blogger and go to your blog. From there, click the Layout link. Then click one of the Add a Gadget links in the part of the page where you'd like to put the search box. I usually put features like this on the right side of the page, but you can put it anywhere you like. After you click on Add a Gadget, a pop-up window will appear. Go through the list and find the HTML JavaScript gadget. Click on the link for it. Here's what you'll see next. Fill in a title for your search box. If you want to say a few words about it before showing it, type that in the content box. Then go down a line or two and paste in all the widget code you copied from library thing. Don't worry if you don't understand anything you just pasted in. You don't have to understand it to be able to use it. When you're done, click Save. One last thing, click on Save Arrangement on the Layout page. Here's what part of the page looks like with the search box added. If you want to know how you can create some of the other features on the page, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to contact me with any questions or feedback. Here you have my email address and LinkedIn profile. I've also provided a link to the church library website I've created so you can see how it looks. And I take requests if there's something else you'd like me to do a video on. And yes, Girl with Squirrel in my YouTube channel name is short for the girl with the squirrel tattoo. Ask me about it. 